Blue Zell, yes sir. So here is uh, Blue Zell. Anything for Blue Zell for us? Nope. Uh, we're above the skinny pink line though, which is good. So I feel like Blue Zell would need to consolidate a little bit before heading any higher. Right, uh, we're already super overbought. So you don't go long when things are overbought. You'll have to wait for a at least a consolidation first before doing anything. Sure, uh, we could go up from here, but I don't think it's a good idea to be, you know, making moves at the moment, right? If we came down here and we got another um, lower high, right? And we get another lower high on the RSI, and this could be a double bearish divergence, and we could be heading much lower for Blue Zell. But uh, if Blue Zell does consolidate, and does stay above the skinny pink line, then yeah, very likely there could be a move higher for Blue Zell. I think Blue Zell could be heading to take out all of these clusters of stop buys over here. Right, all the way to about 27 cents. Pooh! We could be heading to 27 cents. But again, we still don't see any clear signs of a continuation chart pattern yet. And if I were to count the waves, I think that this is already a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, there could be another move higher, right? But I don't think it is a wise move to, you know, make uh, to go long when things are already overbought, right? The last time we were overbought, yeah, it was around this area. So I don't think it's a good idea, you know. <laughs> These are all uh, what you call uh, lessons that we can learn from. Lessons of history, right? Where were we here? We were here, right? When things are overbought, do you go long? No, you don't go long. You have to wait, right? I mean, of course, I'm not saying we can't go any higher, right? But you want to have an H, right? And you don't want to be... Yeah, don't, don't aim it. <laughs> be wiser, be wiser. So again, there's nothing much for us for Bluezell, right, to do. Nothing much for us to do.